In Part 3, Episode 1, The Darkness Beneath the Hill, our investigators have made their way into the cave, and they find something truly horrifying. Alright. So, um, we'll go ahead and start that over again, but you already made successes. Uh, Jim, you wrote a critical success. Uh, extreme success, that means that you found three flares. Everyone else found everyone else found one flare. Look at the Irish, like I said, fellas. I, I, I can't even remember packing these. I don't know where they come from. <laughs> it's got to be St. Patrick. Yeah. I had nothing to do with having those drinks last night. I've also got a number of some young lady calls Mabel. <laughs> <laughs> she left flares in your room? <laughs> That's a weird thing for old Billy. <laughs> Some weird stuff. What a practical yet eccentric gift. <laughs> yeah, strange taste in women, Jim. <laughs> okay, so now that you guys have these flares, um, how would you like to proceed from here? I'd probably light mine up and just like throw it through down down the corridor and see as far as far as I can throw it, I guess, to see what I can see. Okay, you throw the flare. And um, why don't you go ahead... You're muted. Sorry, I keep doing that. Um, why don't you go ahead and you throw the flare. And uh, you hit a wall probably about 10 feet in front of you. Um, but you think you see something if you can roll a successful track roll. Twenty-one. Still a failure. I needed a ten. Rolled a twenty-one. <laughs> okay. Uh, you just see a well-lit area. Would anybody else like to make an attempt? I've got no idea it attracts one the moment. How does that even happen? Oh, okay, I thought you rolled it. Okay, you rolled an extreme success. How does that even happen two times? You rolled a 21 as well, and then you rolled a critical critical success. Okay, so, so Mick, when you look into the hole, you notice that you see footprints. Um, and they go about 15 feet. Um, to your left and are gone in a bunch of debris where it looks like there might have been a cave in in the past um, and then you see about another 50 feet because of the flare you see footprints going in the opposite direction so you see some going this way and then circling back this way so they're going if you're looking at the hole they're going east hmm. um, okay <clears throat> Yeah, um, I'll pull up my flashlight, turn it on, pull out my gun, and I guess I'll start following the footprints. Okay. So Mick leads the way to the hole, correct? Yep. I probably follow behind, pulling out my uh, some chalk, and I've got my gun out. I'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> keep my gun up this entire time we're in this cave, but. <laughs> I grab the chalk and just like when we start hitting like corners and turns, I'm going to be marking as best as I can, like corners and turns and stuff like that. Perfect. Uh, Jim pulls out his machete and starts dragging it across the walls as well. I'm going to leave a mark. Okay. Machete That's a good idea. In the other. That's a good idea. Um... This turned into a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the machete, clang, 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 clang. Oh, shit, that's right in front of me. That's a good okay. I'll, uh, I'll keep chalking a flashlight out and do my best to reinforce all of our directional markers as we go. Okay, so I'm going to assume that Jacob and Mick are in the front, and then um, the other two guys are in the back, right? Yep. Okay. Sure. 
so you keep walking and you keep walking and uh, you get to the 50 foot point and you notice that your flare doesn't cast any more of uh, a light and it's dark but even with your flashlights you can still see a little bit and um, you go about another hundred feet or so and you see something but you also think you hear something if someone can roll a listen roll uh, Jim fails on the listen roll I got a hard success on the uh, listen roll okay you got a hard success um, you hear as well as everyone else a grunt Ugh. and because you rolled a 98 I'm gonna need you to mark one sanity point down because we're in the dark and you hear um, a grunt of some sort winning <laughs> you won't hear that I didn't hear a thing. Where, where was it? And I start like spinning around, looking in every direction. Where, where was it? Where was it? Where? What direction was it coming from? Do I know that? Like, was it straight, right, left, behind us, above uh, us? It just echoed through the. It echoed through the tunnel. You don't really know what direction. You just kind of heard a. Ugh. I heard a grunt. I'm not sure exactly from what direction it sort of echoed, but um. Could have been our friend. He could be hurt down here, potentially. Should we call out to him, or is we better be as quiet as possible? I'm not sure. What's the best? You're the clever fellas. Let's just continue on the uh, the path. Uh, Justin, as you're walking, um, Jacob, roll a spot hidden roll. That's just a uh, regular success for me. Regular success is fine. Um, you see something, and it looks like it's the remains of six people. Three are in manacles, and then you see the limbs from three other what you think are people. Just the limbs. Uh... I probably jump back and just like silently like point forward, just like. What the hell's wrong with you, Jake? Do you all not see that? See what? The, the bodies. Bodies. I guess we're Limbs, gonna look I suppose. <laughs> I guess we're gonna look closer to see what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, if you roll, uh, roll a science or a medicine roll. I can tell you a little more about it. Uh, Jesus, really, Joseph, there's bits of people everywhere. It, parts. Remember, again, it's just parts. You guys are used to seeing parts of people. Well, unless I'm getting another critical success, I don't think I'm getting anywhere near this. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, that's a 47. Not even close. Are we all making science slash medical rules? Yes, because now that he's told you what it is, you now see it. If someone in the pack can can roll successfully, you'll be able to tell the others what you see. Or what... Okay, so a 63 and a 65. I told you guys... Failure for me. So... My science is specifically chemistry. Am I still counting that or...? Uh, I'd imagine you know a little bit about the human body. Okay. I also have a specific biology category. Do you prefer that? You already know it's a person. You just you don't need to know what biological form it is. Okay. So then, yeah, I got a success. Okay, so you, uh, you notice it as... Being from at least 150 years ago, and uh, the clothing that you see scattered around looks like it could be from the colonial area era. Era, era. <laughs> era. 
I told you guys. I told you guys. It said in the letter, slaves got torn to pieces, pieces of people in the tunnel. I told you. Told you. You sure did. And yet we came down here anyway. I mean, you're right. <laughs> probably. In hindsight, it probably is a horrible idea, but now we have to find Winscott. You notice um, everyone loses a sanity point for that, too, by the way. Okay. Oh. I'm dipping fast. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to happen to everybody. All right. And uh, you see, as you're going through... Oh, William has a lot of sanity. You see, as you're going through, um, about 10 feet away from that is an opening. Um, and it leads to a bigger area of the tunnel where you guys don't have to stand behind one another. You can, it's, it's a lot bigger, probably about 50 feet wide. With it, uh, uh, let's turn the torches around before we go in there. That looks a bit dangerous. And I'm going to try and hold them back a sec as I shine the torch into every corner and nook and that I can. You guys have been you guys have been in here now for 30 minutes. Do you want me to uh, toss a flare in there? It might be the best thing to light up the whole room. I'll do that then. Okay. And I'll do whatever you need to light up there. Roll Chuck it in. Roll a dex roll. Dex roll. Should be. Oh. Are you uh, sure we're not playing Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> <laughs> That's almost a hard success, but not quite. That's a regular success. You throw, the, you throw the flare. It, you throw the flare probably twenty feet away. Well, as much as your movement is. So what's your your movement? Seven, right? So twenty-one yards. So sixty feet. Okay. Throw 60 feet and uh, quickly recover my gun or machete, whatever it was, and start peering around anxiously. Okay, so as you uh, as you do that, you see you see something, but it's a little too far away. Why don't you go ahead and roll a spot hidden? Me. 32. Uh, oh, wait. oh, terrible. Oh, nice. I'm too busy reaching for my gun. I didn't see it. Yeah, you're too busy, too busy fiddling with your gun that uh, you don't notice um, what it is on the ground. But because it is illuminated, you guys can see it. So if you'd like to roll a spot hidden, somebody. A 100? Oh my god, you might as well go blind. We'll hold on to that for the future. Uh, Ron, you're muted. I need a 70. I got a, a 71. Would you like to either push the roll or maybe spend some luck? Wait, before you do that, did anybody else get a success? Okay, you got a success. So um, you see that there's more colonial clothes. Um, and it's torn. And there's blood stains all over the clothing. Um, and you see, like, looks like rats have been eating it, but it's torn from the body. There are no body parts, but it's just torn clothing everywhere, blood stains all over it. You see, like, uh, um, old belt buckles and old cuff links, and looks like it's from a, a soldier. Now, I'm no expert. But that don't look good. <laughs> you also see something that looks very familiar um, and that you have tried once yourself. It looks like what might be the stub of a Turkish cigarette. So not for nothing. But it looks like one of Winscott, Winscott's uh, fancy Turkish cigarettes is right there in that room. Oh. 
more honest trail, um, I guess. Uh, I mean, honest trail uh, at the end of it, not not entirely. There's also a, a, a bunch of clothing torn to shreds. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look good. Guns, did we? we never did get the chance to look for those big guns. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> we kind of got drawn in there. Uh, yeah. This seems like a very bad idea going much further. Do you think we could to give him a call, give him a shout, maybe he'll come running and we can all get out of here. Mr. Winscott! Uh, do you want to Do you want to yell? I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't even know if that's a roll. Probably not. No. But you yell. Roll for you. All you hear is an echo. And uh, roll a listen roll. Blind and deaf. <laughs> no, just um, just Mick will listen. Uh, Twenty six. Yeah, I needed a twenty, so now I don't hear nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, you hear something scurry, but you can't well you can't tell where it's coming from. Could be could be bats, could be rats. Um, but you don't really know what you heard. Uh, okay. Um. <clears throat> Would you guys, you guys want to continue moving forward? I do, at least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, might as well. Okay, so as, as you're, as you're moving forward, um, you are now... Walking down a steeper, a steep slope. Not necessarily so steep to where you would have to roll a dex roll, but if you weren't seasoned drinkers, you would have to roll a dex roll. Um, but as you roll down, you start to see, you see something. You see. Uh, it's like a it's a passage and it's opening to a you just see a dimly lit light and as you keep going closer it keeps getting brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter and as you walk into the area it seems to be lit about the same light as what your flashlight would give you uh oh if someone wants to roll a spot hidden or no, I'm sorry, not spot hidden. If someone would like to roll a biology roll. Whoa. That's you. You're up. <laughs> the time to shine. Come on, Princeton. <laughs> nope. Okay. Was that a success? It was not. Um... So why exactly, like, what proc that roll? Did I see something or something like that? You said you see you see something and uh, it's roll a spot. Somebody roll a spot hit. Uh, you're moving closer and closer and you see it lit up. I'll try that. Uh, nope. Oh. Let me some reason. Not for me. That's fine for me as a success. Okay. So Simon, as you're going forward, your eyesight is a little bit better than everyone else's. And you notice that it's some kind of luminescent thing on the uh, on the walls. Why don't you go ahead and open that spoiler document? Kinda looks something like this. That's not a torch there, fellas. I don't know what it is. I'm going to have a look. Oh, quite. Thank you for listening to Part 3, Episode 1, The Darkness Beneath the Hill. In the next episode, we find out the conclusion of what happens to our investigators.